Good morning, this is Todd Mitchell. For today's free video, we are looking at the stock AGN. We've been going through this one for one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the eighth day that we've been in this trade. Took a little profits down here, and we've got the remainder of the position, and we're riding it higher. Uh, the market has, let's say yesterday, made a bullish engulfing pattern, took out the high and the low of the prior day. And this white horizontal line right here represents our sell stop right now, 160.39. 20 cents below yesterday's low is where we're going to remain and keep our uh, trailing stop to lock in profits. Remember, we went long here, right down here. At 121, $121.63. Now again, I outlined the trade in options. If you bought the calls, this trade pretty much tripled, quadrupled. So great trade. So it's up to you on whether or not you want to trade the options or the outright stock. Completely out to you. But the call was right in here. It was a beautiful trade setup. And the market has gone uh, quite a bit higher. Let's take a look at gold. Gold, remember what I told you yesterday, that this was an absolute critical level, okay? We tested it once. We created this inside pattern. We opened up a little lower this morning, or pretty much unchanged, traded down for the first 20 minutes and started rocking and rolling. So basically, gold rejected this level in here. And we're seeing a bullish consensus now. I mean, we've got an engulfing pattern already in the first 43 minutes of trading. We're trading right here. And depending on where gold closes today, we'll uh, pretty much decide where it wants to go in the next couple days. If the market closes, if gold closes in the top quarter up in here, then I see gold running up to try to retest these highs again. If, by chance, gold isn't able to sustain this rally that we're seeing right now. We close mid-range or lower, right, below the 50% of today's range. If we close below that, then I see the market coming back down and probably retesting these lows. So if it does, if gold closes pretty much neutral to a slightly lower than, than the mid-range of today, Critical, critical levels would be the high of the engulfing pattern and the low. In whichever way the market breaks, that's where I would expect the market to travel for the next week or so. So today, I, th I believe, is critical in gold. Google, I'm going to keep this on my watch list. Okay, we are holding nicely at the 200 exponential moving average, right, the purple line. So I'm going to watch this very carefully. And what we've had, we've had two consecutive days with lower highs and lower lows into this 200. After completely rejecting this 200 of, uh, about a week ago. All right. So I'm going to watch it very closely. And if Google is able to break up through yesterday's high, I would think that's a buy. I think today it's going to be a kind of a neutral to down day. And tomorrow, Friday, if we're able to rally up through today's high, then I think you could go long Google. So that's my take. Let's take a look at the overall market just real quick. We were getting a sell off today. Look, we opened up higher. <clears throat> we opened up higher. We retested Tuesday's high of 1878 and three quarters. Okay. And we immediately sold off and took out yesterday's low, and we tested <clears throat> Tuesday's low. <clears throat> so depending on where the market closes today will dictate where I, I believe uh, uh, the market will go. So if the market closes in the bottom quarter, I would expect a little push to the downside. If we're able to um, maintain a little rally and we close above the mid-range, then I would expect another retest of these highs and then potentially higher yet, okay? Have a profitable day. Be back with you tomorrow. Bye. Uh, yeah, next in the premium video, I'm going to be talking about two phen phenomenal trades that are occurring right now. Bye for now.